guys, welcome back to Lan App. For today's video, we are going to show you Wix branded app tutorial. How do you build a branded mobile app here? So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. Now you might be wondering or you might be new here to Wix and you're wondering how do you start building your branded app? Well, building your branded mobile app is going to be fairly easy as long as you already have a website or a Wix project that you currently have. So in this case, I have a ton of projects here that I already have. Let's go and choose one of them. So one of them is going to be the uh, booking agency that I currently have. Let's go and click on select site here. Now, from our site here, there are going to be different options that we could access. So at the uh, very top, you have our resources, community, and help. We also have a website here. So in this case, is a great way for you to switch over to different websites. But the left side, this is where you'll be able to start creating or um, editing your branded mobile app. Now, how do you exactly start doing that? How do you get started here? So at the left side, you want to look for site and mobile app. Go ahead and click on it. And in here, you want to expand the option uh, for this one. And you want to look for mobile app. Now, once you see it, just click on it. And you should be able to see this UI here. Now, this is uh, the UI is specifically for uh, building your mobile app here. By the way, you also have like Spaces by Wix app here, which allows you to build brand credibility with your own mobile app here. And you should be able to view your mobile app and ed edit your mobile app as well in here. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on your own mobile app and let's go ahead and click on Get Started. Now, by the way, you have the option to customize your native iOS and Android app here. So let's go ahead and click on Get Started. Now from here, first it's going to ask us to set up our mobile app. So in this case, you want to choose your app's name. So for example, I'm just going to add my name here. But obviously, you could go ahead and add whatever your uh, yours is. And you want to go and just upload your app icon. Let's go and click on the add image op option here. Now, this is going to be the icon that you usually see on uh, your uh, home screen on your mobile device. So this is something really important So to basically uh, distinct your mobile app uh, uh, from other apps out there so you can go and choose your site files here but you also have the media from wix as well shutterstock unsplash so you could use like free images in here but if you want to upload yours just click on upload media click on upload from computer and just choose the photo that you want to use here for example i maybe want to start using one of them so for example maybe i want to use this one i'm just going to click on it click on open now, once in this case, it's going to start uploading itself. But once it's actually uploaded, you should be able to see it in here, as you can see right now. Let's go and click on Add to Page. Now, as you can see, we now have our icon. Now, you can go ahead and update this or delete this if you want. As you can see at the right side, this is what it's going to look like. But we are good. Let's go ahead and click on Next. Next is we want to go ahead and just choose the team for your booking or agency or your app here. There are going to be different teams that you could choose from. But maybe I want to use like a warm uh, brownish color here. Let's go and choose that and let's go and click on next. Now from here, we want to go and choose uh, the look of our navigation layout. So you have the bottom uh, section. So as you can see, you have home, schedule, services, FAQs. But if you choose top bar, uh, top, tab, uh, top tab bar here, it will be different. As you can see right now, you have your icon at the top left, uh, notifications, your messages. So you can go and just choose whichever uh, option you want here. So yeah. So maybe I want to use the bottom tab bar here. Let's go and click on next. And from here, we have now the preview. Now, if you want to basically uh, base, uh, preview or preview the following app that we just made, you can go and just scan this one and you can go and just view with the studio app. But we are good for now. Let's go and click on continue with edit app. Now from here, it should redirect you into the editor itself. Now from the editor, there are going to be a lot of things that you try doing here. Now your UI here, this is what it uh, usually looks like. Now you have your header here. So if you click on the different parts here, you'll have the option to edit what it will contain. Like for example, you can show like the chat icon here. Like if you want to disable that, it will hide the chat icon. Now you also have the type here, like for example, detailed or either minimal. So in this case, I'm going to choose detailed here to add more. You also have the title if you want to update that, your subtitle, or you can go and show your logo as well, and also general information and a lot more. Like for example, the cover photo. Like for example, let's go ahead and change this one to a different. For example, if you want to go and choose illustration, and maybe I want to use this image here. Let's go and click on this one, click on select image. Now from here, you can go and just crop the photo the uh, section of the photo that you want to use without this one click and done and it will actually add a photo in here 
So in this case, let's go and move it around. You can press and hold on it and make it the first one that you see here. And you can get, go and just add other images as well if you want or delete them by clicking on delete image here. They also have the member info action or action buttons here and a lot more. Now, obviously, depending on what sections you click here, you'll have the option to edit them, like get in touch, you can remove those, add those, uh, whatever information you want. You also have the option to add margins. So a little bit of uh, some editing in here. Now, I did have side. Uh, before we go to elements, we also have screens. Now, screens is going to be the screens that you see in the app itself. Like, for example, if someone click on the FAQ section of your app here, this is the, what they'll be seeing, as you can see right now. Now, you have, also have services. So, this is the services tab or uh, this is a section of my uh, app here. You have schedule. But if you want to add your own uh, uh, sc a screen here, you could go and click on add. And you can just basically start uh, navigating into it. As you can see, you have a new screen. So, for example, I'm going to name this a sample screen. Now, from here, it's going to click on check to add this one. Now, I also have the screen not in the navigation. So, screens are currently in the navigation. When you remove screens from the navigation, you'll see them in here. But yeah, so in this case, by default, this is the screens that we'll be seeing in the navigation. But if you want to move them around, uh, you need to delete them or you can go add them in here. As you can see, this will not be seen on your navigation, but let's go and delete this one. Click on delete. Now, also, like for example, let's go to our sample screen here. Now, if you want to add elements, you can go and click on add elements at the left side here. Now, you have the option to add like the basics ones. Like, for example, maybe I want to add like a pricing plan here. Let's go and click on this one. You can just press and hold on it and add, add it in here. Now, from here, that should add the pricing uh, plans uh, section. Like, you go and click on it to edit it. Like, for example, you could go and show the title for it, uh, plan display, uh, your margins here. But obviously, the plans, uh, uh, pricing plans uh, section here depends on what you currently have or the content you already have on your web page. So, if you don't have like uh, plans into your web page, you won't be able to see that. You need to uh, edit that on your uh, actual page or in your dashboard in order for you to see it in here. But uh, yeah. So in this case, uh, maybe let's go and click on manage pricing plans here, the bottom right here in order for you to manage your pricing if you want to. So this is an easy way for you to start adding adding them now. Let's go and let that now here. Now, in this case, uh, you could go if you go to general settings here, you have the option to uh, basically add the element uh, visibility. So for example, if you want to uh, so, uh, show it for Android here or for all, so depending on uh, your choice here. You could go ahead and just click on the delete uh, our trash can icon here in order for you to delete it. Let's go and click on delete. But yeah, so if you, whatever you want, like you can get add like banners, lists, buttons. So if you click on button here, you can basically add the buttons itself. So you can see we now have a button. Now, if you click on design here, this will change the overall look of your design. So if you want to change the color team, text team. So this will apply on all the designs you currently have right now for your Wix mobile app. And they also have the custom widgets here. So in this case, uh, you could add like new features, experiences to your app with custom widgets here. Widgets here. So in this case, uh, this feature is only available for sites built with Studio Editor. So in this case, uh, if you are using uh, Studio for the editor of your project here, you won't be you will be able to use it. But right now, it's still in beta, so you could still try it if you're using Studio. But yeah, so those are the basics here on how to use uh, the. Uh, a branded mobile app feature here for Wix and in this case that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.